Right, here we go again. I've shared, uh, maybe this could be the fourth one now of this person's videos. His channel name is Beery Sund. I'll leave it in the description if you, you've just come across this one and don't really know what it's all about. Um, and you can go to his channel and watch all his videos. Um, he's basically being harassed by government agencies. Um, and it's being caused by other people, neighbours and things like that. Um, I, I've known this stuff to happen um, to myself before. Um, when I, you just don't fit in in the area, things like that. Um, they The neighbours have called the police on him because he video records. And I don't fucking blame him because he gets attacked. He gets his car smashed up. And you can see in this video his car smashed up in the background. Um, the car's got smashed up after the police told him to remove his camera. Because they threatened him with the ICO. Um, and luckily for him, he didn't know... He took the threat seriously because he obviously he doesn't want shit, um, so he took it down. And this is what they're doing. the The neighbors are calling up the police to get him to stop recording. So then, when he's not recording, because they've either took his cameras down or he has, or they've confiscated his cameras, then they fucking attack him. Um, there's no evidence that he has done anything else because when the police turn up, they all they say is. Um, I mean, the, if you look at the other videos um, on my channel, uh, I think one's called Police Harassment. Um, that's the worst one, where they turn up at his door, they are not arresting him for anything. They're not saying he's breaking a law. So what the fuck are they doing there? Um, I'm not going to waffle on too much. I might pause this a little bit during the thing. But it, this is getting out of control. Um I've actually called the police, made a complaint about the two officers that came to the door um, and said that they're basically harassing him and for them to stop, otherwise legal action will be taken. Um, now this is, now he's got, I don't know who's called these, but I think it's the neighbours. Judging, I think the neighbours actually, one of the neighbours to the left, um, you can't see the house, but he does say in the video that... Um, they work for this mental health hospital where this poor bloke has been before. Um, I've not actually had to deal with mental health idiots like this before, but I know of people that have, and all they, they don't help you. They lock you up, inject you, or force you to take drugs that make you basically turn into a vegetable. So you're drooling all over the place. place. I've seen it before. Um, I'm not going to get into that, uh, but uh, let's play the video and I might pause it a bit and shit. Okay, here goes. See, and this is what they keep saying. He doesn't do anything else whatsoever. All he does is record. And they're saying that that is nuts and crazy. And it, he's got mental health. They keep saying that, mental health. He's got mental health. Well, if he's got mental health, that's a good thing. I mean, he's got healthy mental. But <laughs> um, he, that's all he does is record. He doesn't do anything else. But, I mean, public photography, we get some shit for doing it. But this is beyond fucking a joke. I can. You, 
you going to play? We would prefer you not to record. No, I am recording. That's because for my own benefit and what you've been doing in Penn Hospital with me. All right. No, I've never met you before. So but these are. Oh, that guy there. Do you recognize Dr. Gupta? Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Well, they were concerned about your mental health. No, no. Don't keep saying concerns. There's no concern. So what they would like to do... Mm. No, to I'm not talking to anyone because I don't have a mental health. The only people you got is you lot. Okay. You, have mental health. you lot have it because you have you've been abusing me when I was in Penn Hospital. And these know it. Okay. Right? When was that? From Dr. Ch not Dr. Chowdhury, but the other doctors, Dr. Singh and Dr. Nice. You abused me in there. You abused me and you took me in there for a reason, right? What reason did you take me in there for? Okay, but I'm telling you, they put, they give you lethal injections in pen hospitals, right? Yes, lethal injections. Lethal injections that put you down. Okay. Lethal means you you die after having. Yes, yes, you do. They do it. I've I've seen everything that was going on in there. But you're still alive. I don't know anything about this, and he didn't say he'd had one. Just to shut that cunt up there. Um. Obviously, I don't know anything about what he's on about here, but it doesn't matter. You can have an opinion, you can say what you want. It's like they still should not be at his door for mainly recording. Yeah, but I've seen other people, other, other patients, and that's why you're here trying to convert and say, oh, no, there's nothing going on in there. It's all delusion. Guess what? I, I don't have any delusions. You don't have all the delusions? How would you like me to refer to you? No, 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 no. By what name? Look, why do you always call me Mr. Prakash? Because I've ne never ever been Mr. Prakash. Because on our records... On, on yeah, because then it's false. Records. It's false. Okay. My name is Gurdwar Ram. That's the only name so I've been going by. Mr. Ram? Yes. But I'm not, I'm not going to listen to you. And I want you to go away. OK. okay. You just because you're alarming and distressing me. I've had so many calls here. And it's, and it's leading... Bang. Straight away. They're causing harassment, alarm and distress. That's an offence. And if you look at how the police, when they come at you in a group, they do exactly what's going on here. You have the main one, then you have one that sort of sneaks around, almost to flank you, which there is one to the right. You've got one at the back. It's like, what the fuck? Are they trained at the same place as the police? Is it in, I don't know, somewhere called um, Cunt? College. It's the same thing, same thing. Mr. Ram, Mr. Ram, you go and you go. I don't, I don't have any delusions. The only people are sick is you lot. Mr. Ram, just one. No, 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 I don't, don't, don't. You. No, you're not here to help me. Okay, don't answer me. Because you lot have mental health. You take people in there to be abused. And it's been going on for a long time. Something is... Go from here. What? Okay, she's, she's asking us to leave us on the end. Yeah, but we're asking okay. you... Because these will come out, but it'll come out in the press, but I don't want you to keep coming here. Because I made my... my What I'm saying to you, I made it clear now. Don't come here. Okay. All right. Can I just say, if you mm -hmm. believe, mm -hmm. um, there is a, a law in this country called the Mental Health Act 1983. I suggest you can Google it and have a look at it. Yeah, but I've, I've already That's looked fine. at it. Okay. You can give injections and you can make uh, people sick. And what you're trying to do, I, I have a, I, I, I've raised up a, um, a murder cases. There's two murder cases, and that's why you're barking on it. But don't, no, don't no. interfere. Don't interfere okay. in those. Under the Mental Health Act 1983. Yeah, but you try, what you're trying to do, just, listen. Just hear me out. Just yeah, but any, and, then we'll, and then we'll go. Anybody could say, oh, oh, he's not well, he doesn't look well, and then you put him under a section. That's, that, okay. that's, that's not the way to go away okay. with things, all right? Under the Mental Health Act 1983. Anybody can, anybody can do that. Give me a chance, give me a chance. Yeah. The law is... Yeah, but it needs to be changed. It's, it's, well, I can't change the law. It's, it's, the law yeah, it law. should be. Under section 1983, section D, it should be, uh, should be changed now because it's do different rules now. If doctors or psychiatrists feel that you're not very well at the time... But I'm if, fine, if, I'm fine. I'm just saying if... No, I'm not going in there voluntary, no, no nothing. Right. Because I'm, I'm, I've, I've, got to, I've got to answer to other people as well. My family is watching and seeing what's going on here as well. If they feel you're not very well, then they have a duty to assess you under the mental health. All I'm doing is I'm sticking up for what my rights are, and you are wrong.
hundred percent, you're wrong. So you can Anybody, you, you can get another hundred psychiatrists, and I'll tell you the same thing. So now, What's you feel that you're doing right now? Any, any help you need? Right, at all? No, no. Your mind is also. Do you need to take these, 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 these are psychiatrists, they're from Penn Hospital, right? I'll tell you something else, they're from Penn Hospital. Some of them work there and they come there. Okay. In this house, number 26. Uh, they're causing a problem, or? They've caused problems. I don't like pausing this, but as I said, if you want to go and watch it without any interruptions, then the channel link and video link will be in description. One thing that's always worried me about psychiatrists and psychologists they get a little bit of paper saying that what basically whatever they think is normal and it's given by someone else who gave that you know said that um oh this is what normal people think and this is normality this is sane who gave who gave them that? Who gave them that? And who gave the other one that? And who gave that? It goes on and on and on. And this is what scares me about these little fuck faces all around his fucking house, and the people next door who are apparently are psychiatrists, and any fucking psychiatrist, I've met some, and they are the strangest fucking people I've ever met. Really fucking weird. And the danger is. Because they've got that little fucking certificate to say that they're psychiatrists, anything they think in their head, they think that that is normal. That's the fucking danger here. Look what's happened to my cars. They're going to keep saying it because they work for the mental health. They're going to make up allegations anyway. I said, Mr. Ram, this isn't, he ain't, work, he ain't right or this and that. I've got loads of allegations and they're all false. And uh, you're, you're happy to leave here, or do you feel that you're very under pressure? I don't need your help. If I get any help, I'll get, I'll get, uh, I don't need help. No, you, anybody needs help is these people who are, who are doing all the, all the problems and causing all the problems. Neighbourhood, neighbourhood, neighbourhood. So they're causing problems with you? Yes, they are. So are you happy to live in this vicinity? Or you Look, I don't have any choice, but you know, it's not, gonna, it's not you, you're going to help me. You want me to get into Penn Hospital and you're going to help me. I don't need your help. Have you tried? I, by yourself to move from here. Look, I know how the system works. Everywhere you go, they're going to be ahead of you, the three, four step ahead of you, and they're going to put a stop in, right in front of you so you don't get any further. I know. Did you try to move from here to any other place? I just wanted to. Look, I, I, uh, I see that you're quite distressed here by. No, distress. I'm not distressed. Hmm? I've got to cope with it. I, I, yeah, I mean, if there's an earthquake tomorrow, I'll have to cope with it. I mean, you've got to go on, ain't you? Because you're happy to stay here. Not happy. Hmm? I'm not happy. You're making it look like it's happy. If they do, if the perpetrators are doing all the, everything else to get me out of here hmm. and doing all, all, the, all, the, all the, you know, making false allegations and doing the crimes, they're doing the crimes. I'm telling you, they're doing the crimes and I'm getting punished for it. But then, you know, yeah, they ain't going to listen because they're on your side. The police comes here, isn't they're on your side. State police. You think I'm stupid? I've done all my research and everything. Oh, oh. And don't, don't keep saying, Mr. Ram, Mr. Ram, you stress. Guess what? Everybody gets stressed, but we can control it. Oh, okay, no, just leave, leave. Just a minute. Yeah, because you got that. She's not happy. She's yeah. also asking. Yeah, okay. Thanks for coming. Do you have the children? Is the family okay? No, you know about my children. I don't want to go into my children Are because. Are they okay? Huh? Are they okay? Are they doing okay? I'm not going to go into anything. Okay. They're going to school and coming. You're picking them up, dropping. But yeah. it just shows you you haven't looked into the files. No, no, I don't know you. Yeah, because they show you, you, you say, you, you're making things up, and you, you, what, what you think. But how do you know my kids are here? No, no, it, now it's school. The school is open. I just wanted to find out. No, my kids aren't here. Play with them. It's all down to to mental health. They're taking my kids away. They said, "Oh, Mr. Ram, you, you okay. wasn't well. They put my, uh, put, put me on medication." Right? Antipsychotic drugs. And they go, oh, you can't live here and all this. We have to take your kids away. And that's what happened. Okay. Do you, do you still see 
Look, if I was delusional and I was mental and everything else, but these people are making it worse for me and um, they don't want me here and they, they're causing all the troubles and making accusations and that it becomes a bit difficult. You understand? You don't, but, you don't have any appointments with the CMACs or... Why do I need an appointment? I'm, not, I'm perfectly fine. Okay. Uh, I, no, 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 I don't, I don't talk to you, mate. Oh. Oh, okay, um, all right. So... You do have a nurse allocated to you. No, no, no. I, I'm not going to go into any. I, I don't need to uh, tell you anything more than that. I, that's, and I want you to go away. Just one question. Yeah. Um, are you prescribed any medication? I'm not going to answer you. Bye. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Hmm. I don't think he should have talked to them as much as he does, but I know what he's trying to do to document exactly what's going on, which is fair. Um, but there is another video I don't think I'm not sure if I did a like an upload of that but he, he does call the police after he's robbed of his um, like GoPro camera thing or just camera um, and while they're taking a statement the police officer is you can see in the video he's uninterested and then the police officer turns it to you know, his mental health. So he got robbed, but it's his fault because he's completely crazy. Um, you know, um, it's fucked up. And then there's another one. It might be the same video, I'm not sure. Um, where it's, it's the same police officer and he's taking this statement. And then, because the neighbours know that the police, the police car parked outside, some random neighbour comes banging on his door and starts fucking mouthing off because I'm guessing they're scared. So they're trying to change it. They, they're actually going... Uh, uh, it's so fucked up. Um, my only worry is the, the next video for Mr. Ram It's going to be um, police at his door with a section, I think it's a section 135 warrant thingy which is, and there'll be those health visitors or whatever you want to call them, social workers, and they're going to section him. I hope it doesn't happen. I wish this bloke was nearer to me because I'll be up there fucking with a camera in his garden every single fucking day. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to leave it there. Thanks for watching.